Hello everyone, hope you're all okay. Right, I'm coming on today to show you what I've done for this month's hashtag CUC prompt challenge, which is run by the lovely Amanda across at Cooking Up Crafts. For anybody that doesn't know, I'll leave the link in the description box. Um, every month on the first Thursday of the month this year, Amanda has been drawing some prompts out for us to have a play with she draws out four prompts and then oh just a minute let me take my scarf off getting a bit warm now um yeah she draws out four prompts for us to play with you don't have to it's only a challenge to yourself you don't have to send anything in and you can do anything you like as use anything else that you like as long as you use the prompts um the things in the prompts but if you haven't got them then just improvise type of thing and as i always say amanda is such a lovely lady she makes you feel so relaxed there's no pressure or anything and she's just wonderful amanda does she does um with her prompt she does a journal page but i've done all different things um over the year but yes so uh, this is nothing to do with it. I just put that there for instead of just looking at a plain desk. Um, so this month, the prompts were red, glitter, silver, acrylic paint. So I thought, oh, I don't know. Uh, and I'd um, a couple of nights ago, I'd just been browsing through Pinterest, as you do, and I'd come across some ATCs, and I thought, I'm going to make some of those for this challenge because they were absolutely beautiful. And if I can find them, I'll try and leave the link. I don't can't remember now whether I saved it or not, but they were they were beautiful. And the lady had done them. She'd used a corrugated card. So I thought, well, I've got plenty of that. This was just from some pillowcases. So I just peeled off. The, I'm not doing a tutorial or anything today i'm just doing a show and tell but i peeled off the you know quite a bit of the paper to leave the corrugated card and then so i've used acrylic paints and i've used red acrylic paint purple acrylic paint and silver acrylic paint so we've got acrylic paint red and silver so that's three of the prompts <laughs> um, so i've used those and i just dried brushed them onto the card and i will show you what i've done i've just made four atcs and i really love well, i love three of them i love the first three and this is what i've done uh, there was it was so easy until i got to the the leaf part <laughs> And then that didn't go quite according to plan, um, but I just dry brushed the paint on, as you can see. And then the glitter, I've also got these glitters, red, purple and gold, uh, silver glitter. So I've sprinkled, just dab some little bits of glue on with a brush and then sprinkled some glitter on. I went round the outside uh, with a paintbrush, I believe, uh, with the silver quite thickly. And then I'd got some, so this was in my thoughts at night time, because uh, um, the lady, she uh, they were beautiful, and she'd made, um, uh, I can't remember, I think they were feathers, paper feathers. Yeah, she'd done paper feathers where you put, looked as though she probably used a, a little cocktail stick or something for the, the, do you call it spine is it no not a spine the bit up the middle anyway <laughs> quill is it quill yeah of the feather um but i mean no this is a, this is a skeleton leaf but she'd made these paper feathers and they were just so beautiful that the card that she'd used was all pretty colours and the feathers were as well. They they were just lovely. And then I think she got a number up in the top corner and a little circle or something else in this corner. But I knew I'd got some skeleton leaves and I knew I'd got some silver skeleton leaves and I'd only got four left. That's why we've only got um, four ATCs. 
So I, I use the skeleton leaf. I've just cut a little piece off the bottom for it to fit on there. But the skeleton leaf on its own just got lost. It didn't look right. And I'm like, oh, bother. <laughs> I know what I can do. So I've got some silver card. So I've actually stuck the, just glued down with this cheap gloss PVA glue from the range I think it I think it's just over a pound or something a bottle just glued some of that onto the skeleton leaf onto some silver card I don't think you can probably see the silver card underneath but it's made it look a lot better it doesn't get lost now uh, and then just put some more silver glitter on the skeleton leaf and then just some of the Tim Holtz whatever words these are so that one shine brightly oh and then I've got some I thought oh I think I've got some I think this was from Tiger Shop I think though I can't quite remember but excuse me could have been the range I don't know anyway um, it's like glitter ribbon trim so I just chopped off little pieces and put a piece in the opposite corner I did think about putting a number up the top because I'm a bit obsessed sometimes with putting numbers on things but so that's that one they're all the same more or less different words that's that one that one from the heart and then the last one that I'm not keen on but the last one I'll keep for myself it's a little bit smaller just because that's how it chopped up <laughs> uh, and I'd decided I thought oh I know I'll put one onto some red card and then put red glitter on it but I don't like it <laughs> Some of you might say that you prefer that one, but I, I don't like it as much. So that's the one I'll be keeping. But yeah, so I've really enjoyed doing these. I'm sure I'll be doing some more at some point with corrugated card. I don't use it enough. I have done corrugated card ATCs a long, long time ago. But it's just a fun, fun thing to do. I shan't bother putting anything on the back you know a proper piece of paper or anything but yeah I love those um, I don't know whether they'll fit in to send abroad or not I think they're a little bit too thick for international shipping but anyway that is my October's challenge see you see no, yeah, CUC prompt challenge, uh, and I've thoroughly enjoyed doing it again. I say that the um, the base of the card that was so easy, but then I stalled a bit at the when I come to the skeleton leaves, but I still love them, so it's all good. So as always, thank you again ever so much, Amanda. And I think I forgot to say that anybody that's joining in, if you give her send her the link, show her what you've made. Um she's putting our names into a hat to draw a winner out at the end of the year just to send a little bit of something to which is an extra nice thing to do. So yes, thank you for watching everyone. Thanks again, Amanda, and I will speak to you soon. Soon is soon. <laughs> Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.